We do. Yeah. Maybe that's one of them. It's not. Like Miriam. Not check. Oh, and there's Carrie. Oh, great. Or someone with a helmet. <laughs> Could be Carrie. I couldn't find the information, so I, I emailed Nick and he sent me the the, the uh, population binder with all the information I have the chance to look at it. From the census. Right. So Saturday I went to work because I like working on my computer and I couldn't access it. Oh, no. So I go back and look at it and I move the router, I move things around, I back, I still couldn't do it. And then I realized I, I have like a booster. Yeah, and it's on the whole thing by the couch, and my son is putting around with me, and he has all his stuff connected to the couch um, to this thing by the couch. So and I'm doing something yeah. disconnected, so I reconnected. Now I know. That was like seven weeks. Hey, Gary. 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 Hey, To help. So I tried to get on Sincere yesterday. Oh, yeah. The Google Doc is not editable, so I could not click the link oh, yeah. to access it on my phone. So I couldn't use oh, it. Nice city. Which I understand why it's not editable. It's very smart. Because yeah. I was like, oh, I can't like get the link. And then I was like, I didn't know. So I need to bring a computer next time, I think. As a backup, actually. Is the there link... enough to like click the link yeah. that I'm yeah. Yeah. That's that's probably like our the... bad for not. The normal world yeah, versus up on that trend. Yeah. So, um, that's I figured like, there was some route I wasn't doing, like on the actual CB7 calendar, and edited like you can and click on down. any of these meetings. Yeah. See, that doesn't load on my phone though, which is again, I think, like, oh, I need to go I on. I didn't have my computer virtually with me because I have to go to the yeah. pipe visit. So, like, I was like, oh, if I had a computer, I could do this. This doesn't work for my phone. So, next time I need to know and bring my computer. Well, the good news is, how the... count is that. I know. I that's, 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 it's a shame because it was an interesting agenda. But, yeah, uh, how was it? Yeah. Which I thought was uh, Alex was on that. Really badly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So anyway, I'll watch it later on, on YouTube. Yeah. But yeah, I was like, oh, I am being. And oh, so right. you couldn't join me then, fresh as a result. Yeah, exactly. Yes, so, I uh, I was commuting back from work and, uh, and it stayed oh, there and everything. So I had to get it to work for my phone. So I got stuck in Newark for a while, so I was just sitting there like, oh. Um, yeah, let me know if you're on Transit, which is the absolute worst. The problem is that there's like, absent for the yeah. summer and I, my, the train I take goes to Newark, and there is a train I should be able to catch. Yeah, we always get stuck, stuck outside of Newark waiting for another train to clear, started. so I just uh, sit there every yeah. time. Yeah. Like waiting for the train to clear, and then we go in. And I'm like, oh, I missed the train. <laughs> like it should be a super easy commute, and it turns into like an hour. Oh, oh it's a two train transfer. Is that it? Yeah, because I I teach it uh, in Union, so I take oh, wow. stop. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. yeah, Union to at Newark, and then I have to wait always because I always miss the train, so I take. And then I go to Newark to Penn, and then I just take the subway up. So it's like really easy. It should take like. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's frustrating they don't pull that out of their train. It's like I'm reverse yeah, so, commuting, so it's like it's super uncoordinated, right? Because I'm like not yeah. going there right just I did that too. It's like they like before here uh, a couple times ago. Like my office was out in like Southern New York, and you'd have to go out that way. And there was a train, but it would just it was the worst. Um, no, it's like kind of like um. By Nyack, New York. York. Do you ever watch Sex in the City? His yeah. cabin is in Suffern. Oh, really? Yeah, the joke oh. is that Aiden's yeah. cabin is in Suffern, New York. It's Suffern. That's so funny. The ones yeah. that we've been I, uh, I really like Sex in the City. Yeah, that's, that's why I know where Suffern is, because I looked it up when watching this. Show. I was going to say, because most people don't know where it is. Yeah. yeah. That's, uh, yeah, that's a, it's an like, a little HBO. <laughs> as long as I'm Are you rewatching it on Netflix? I mean, always. Oh, <laughs> Does it hold up? I don't I remember watching it back in the day. Uh, I wasn't scared of one hold up, so I haven't tried it. I think you have to go into it like mm -hmm. appreciating that like culture has moved on in many ways, and that's like you know you have to just always be watching a lot of TV. But it's better than and just like that. Yeah, right? yeah, they're trying yeah. to be relevant, but actually they're not. Better to be like okay, it was a different time. Yeah. 
And it's more. Anyway, like that's, yeah, that's I, I couldn't get into the, the sequel. The later stressors. So well, I'm going to come up with her. her. Anyways, and yes, that's why I know her. <laughs> what were you doing in Safra, New York? Um, my office for uh, Nelson Corp employees, which is the planning firm. Uh, like their main office is in Long Island and Melville. Um, but the office that I would go to where most of the planners were is in Southern. Yeah. Wild. Uh, random place, but I think in those days, it was a way to get the cost down for all the space. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. And you can see, because I was like an entry level when I had a grad school with my staff, but I had my own office with a window and a door. I've never had an office yeah. like that. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. But did, I would have so, traded I mean, that for a cube okay. in yeah. place yeah. of yeah. a horrible cube. Yeah. yeah. No reverse tweeting is like kind of nice because the train's quiet and like there's positives and the negatives is like the it's schedules really don't make any sense. Person. You're always like struggling to. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we, uh, it's been a long. Yes. I'm getting used to it. Sure. It's a process. Oh, we can start. All right. Cool. We're set. Um, I think I see Do Igor I here. It's about the past like that. Roberta, are you expecting someone named Jeremy Madre? I see them. They could just be a member of the public. No. Igor is here now, too. Oh, shall we start? Let's go. Let's. All right, so it's um, Tuesday, the 17th of September. I'm co chair Roberta Seymour of Budget and Strategy. Gary Alexander, co chair of Budget and Strategy. And our agenda is to vote on the um, resolution of our top three pressing issues for fiscal year 2026, to seven, um, and then to just follow up on where we where we are. Has so everyone got a copy of? I didn't hear back with any major changes so we're being you're all welcome to it <laughs> always well <laughs> and hearing no objection <laughs> so moved okay all in favor aye one two three four five aye four for people that's fine i don't know if it's somebody else but it's not a zero zero So the new the new um platform is phenomenal. You can actually see the written. It's easy to edit. Um, we've never included photos, mainly because it was just very confusing to do it. But I think it's gonna be, I think now it's just a matter of cutting and pasting. And we can also submit other information. So Sim and I were briefly discussing yesterday, uh, looking at um, maybe a completed playground and putting that in, or or take a playground that's a big mess and asking for money and take a picture of that. So um, if you want, we could go through the, um, no, no, I can't, but we could go through the um, items from last year's um, Capital and expense budget items. And then maybe the sign. I think it's going to be easier if we do it. And if we ask committees to do it, uh, we try to get the committees to do it. But if we pick something that's near, we can leave it. And is it that? Um... So I don't exactly understand what the form looks like. Is it <clears throat> that? We list our top three priorities, and then we have all of the budget requests for capital and expense. Is that the, 
how it works. Is it possible to pull up the... Um... Yeah, I guess my question also is in relation to the photos, are we looking to match those priorities or is it that we're looking to add a photo to as many of the requests? Oh, no, I was thinking not, not to this. Not to this, got it. No, okay. no, I was thinking, you know, if, if um, a particular playground is is one of our, yeah, like the Joan of Arc playground, right? Or the, the playground at the Joan of Arc complex, we could take a picture of it in disrepair right now. And the Frederick Douglass, I, I think that's being funded though. Maybe that's it's in the partially planning. funded. Okay, it's only it, it's Nadler is funded, a brewer is funded, Coilman's funded, and I think a brewer because it's now in a brewer's district, mm -hmm. but it still needs more more funding. So okay. I think it should stay on our list. Um, one of the things we ask for is that all the entrances to um, Riverside Park be ADA. ADA accessible. And I've asked the committee to take pictures and they haven't, but you know, I live near Riverside Park. I could walk along and take a photo of a non accessible or or an accessible, you know, whatever looks good. And then we can put that in and say this is an example of, um, I don't know if we want to do an example of another safe street. That seems a little more complicated. Right. But I think if we get through. I do have one of the subway station page. Which one? The 72nd penthouse. That um, just is something in our district. You know, we learn to have, you know, maybe a picture of like the center and the picture of, you know, at the top when we talk about. I like pretty things in our district. <laughs> like we're talking about, you know, why our. So, yeah. So I can ask um, Lincoln Center if they just listen to And it just be, you know, make it a little more interesting. Than, um, and I'm not good at cutting and pasting because I have figures, but you were out. So, you know, I can, I can get all the files and somebody can say them. Yeah, I try not to. It's always been very good. It'll just take me half an hour to take them. It's not, we, other than transportation, we have mm -hmm. just one community responding. What is the best way to do emphasize yeah. that this is a time sensitive from all of the chairs? I'm saying that we right we were at the meeting. We met with um we, we, we met with um Keith, uh, Kevin and, and Kristen. Unfortunately, Kristen's not in since John. Mm -hmm. And we met with um thousand. Did they have to vote on do they have to vote on their priorities or no, no, no. So some committees think they have to vote on their priorities, but they don't. So if they don't provide them to us, can we, and they're still relevant from last year, do we copy Well, I'm going to roll over. What, what, <laughs> yeah. I, what I'm doing is rolling over everything. Okay, have. that wasn't. I'm removing, I'm removing the items that have been completed. Yeah. And um, <laughs> I will put in the new items from transportation. Sure. Um, and I know for transportation, at least, the chairs were familiar with the material and comfortable enough with the material to assemble the list. Right, right. Yeah, that, or Mark sent me a list. Right. Um, um, and so Mark was supposed to, I spoke with them three times. They were supposed to meet with, with um, but to be fair to them, they they needed to meet with uh, Steve Simon. And mm -hmm. he, yeah, not me. So they do have some. So I think what I'll do is just reach out to them tonight. Say, uh, yeah, just give me a list. Is Steve Sun in the Central Park Conservancy? No, he's the parks. He's in half parks. He's like, you know, he's not the commissioner. 
but he's behind the scenes. He knows what everything is and how much it costs and what it's effectively. He's the go-to guy. Okay. Um, so I know they've met with John Harrison from the uh, there was that part. So I know they know that it was like um, so now it's just a matter of and I told um, Kevin after he found out of their Christian's father. I asked him to talk to the chancellor, and I said I would talk to the people of Thailand who told you about him. And I would ask them, and she always says, well, I want to talk to the people And consultations are started, right? Yeah, that's right. So um, you'll have information for us by the end of the summer. Yeah, um, I think they'll, uh, I'd have to look, but yeah, definitely. Everything got flipped over to the new portal. Mm -hmm. So now just a matter of updating the, our database for 2026 and updating the portal. And then so, and um, if Kevin is not spoken with the chancellor, then I'll tell the assistant chancellor, um, some center and email and ask for I mean, we've suggested them three times that they talk to the parent advocates of the school. They've yet to do that. I'm thinking for next year we should set out, we should meet in November. We should set out. Yeah. There are some different kinds of approaches. It hasn't worked, but I think if maybe one more specific, it might work. Cool. Think, well, sorry. Anna, please. I know, please. We just set up a meeting with them and like keep them captive until we. Well, we do it. Maybe we could do it if Beverly's okay with it. We'll do it if this November starting. Oh, James. No. Like we're going to do all every single committee and talk through everything. So oh, oh, well, what we've done in the past is go. Oh, it's theory. You said, sorry, I heard a board. board. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. yeah, yeah. And what we've done is we've gone. One or two of us have gone to every committee meeting that does expense, you know, that has either district needs or expense and capital. And explain in great detail to them, usually November, December. And then we go again and get, and, you know, if we can't do November, December for whatever reason, we do January. And then we go again in April and May. So it's not like we don't touch base with everybody. And parks usually is way ahead of curve, so I don't, you know, I, I, I don't know what happened this year. Usually they're the first to have the stuff. So we're okay on transportation. On um, HHS, we got the whole thing about food and experience. And from what I understand from Goddard, they don't want more money to the homeless average. They have enough. And the police, we know, have gotten a lot of money to do a homeless average over some things. So, Max, I'm hoping you'll hear more stuff yeah. in the consultations. Yeah, I can plan to meet with you after all three of yeah. them are done. And, it, and I'll tell you. Sorry, everyone's muted on my end. I can't hear anyone. Uh, oh, wait, can you hear us now? No, I can't. Thank you. Oh, it, the, the like mute button turned on for some reason. Wow, weird. But we're still present, aren't we? Yes. Huh. And I, I'll send around the, the population finder information that I got from there. And that tells us that, you know, what the. So I can update. It, it are. There's certain things we can't do 
because the really planning puts it in. Like the charts, so you can those the charts in. I see. But we can tell them if we want to do the charts. Mm -hmm. So, um, it's going to take me, a, you know, I'm not going to work on it every day, but in two weeks, I should have our, I should have a whole draft finished. Do we want to meet and look at the draft together, or do we want to look at it separately? What, what, what separate discussion? If there's a draft available, if you want to circulate it, we can all take a look at it, and then we can. Then we can I, I don't know if we can. I don't know if we can do it without. Um, giving everybody access. Mm -hmm. I can find out. We uh, might be able to get it. it. Yeah. So, you know, I, I don't mind sharing my, yeah. I log in with a, a, an email and then my password is CD7 Street News. Because it's easy to remember. And I don't think, I can't imagine anyone calling in and messing from the school, from our group, well, from our committee. There might be people on the board that would take secret pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way to like PDF the like what you've done. I don't think you can PDF it until you're it, until until it's totally it. done. In, in the past, you know, I don't know how it's changed. In the past, you could do the PDF at the very end. Okay. Yeah. That's what I can look at and see if maybe we could. I feel like that's safer. Just so there the might be like a me. draft. That you can then right. yeah, share export. Yeah. If not, I'll just send it with my with my email and, I, and you can log in with the with my email and ask me. And, and basically look for that grammar typo. And you know, if you think something else should be added, we have time that we have time to add it. I, I I just don't want committees to be able to come in and have it. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, I don't mind them coming back and saying, we don't like this, change it, but I... So if we can't do it, then I'll send my password and my, my, my password so you can log in. And then if, if we want to meet, we can schedule like a, a half an hour, 40 minutes before uh, steering or before uh, one and if we're not having an official meeting, we can do it on the Zoom. Right. If we're just discussing. If we're, yeah, no vote. Yeah. yeah. No vote if we're just looking at something together. Okay. So that, that, that would be my recommendation. I don't think we need to vote on the boys just written it. People have commented. Um, and do we need um, requests from not every single committee? No, no. Okay. Basically, um, preservation doesn't have any um, right. So a couple of years they have where they needed staff or something. Okay. Um, Max and I do the um, uniform services. You Is reach back, out to them. Well, Max meets with them, uh -huh. and then he goes to the he meets with the monthly with his cabinet meeting, and then he goes to these. Um, Schedule meetings where they come, come in and they don't, you know, some will tell us stuff and some won't. Right. Like the fire department will say that they want specific equipment for police wear labor. Um, so it's basically YL, HHS, right. housing. How housing, okay. And housing is we oh, have, like HPD stuff, that kind of thing. The housing we actually have. Okay. Because it's the three things we had from before, and the um, and we, what we discussed with Thibodeau, which was the um, eviction. eviction. Yeah. So we have four things for them. So basically, housing is housing is done. We have stuff from HHS, so I'm not going to start with them because it, basically it's food and security and some other programming. And um, we're just waiting on parks. 
and we have trans we have transportation and so basically it's YL and um parks and parks that we need. And then Gail may have Gail and Sean may have some pet projects in there. Okay. And you know we can put up to 40 items in, but we don't need to if we're not getting those. So we might if, if some things we put in just because it's it's nice to have it, but we and they I think for um capital they want 20. Or was it 25? 20 or 25? 20, I think. Yeah. And the expense was more. But again, we've asked, you know, when we ask for a nurse in every school, we don't need a nurse in every school because some of the schools have nurses. I did ask, um, unfortunately, I can't, there's a meeting tomorrow of the um, district three open arms that the JCC hosts. And I can't be at the meeting, but I will call Cheryl after the meeting and find out. Um, what if anything, the, the assistant chancellor's coming. Huh. And so what the needs are, at least in the immigrant children. And I think that's also, I, I think mostly the public education is also gonna say this. We got very bad responses from this. I would say very, we got negative, we got responses that were like, We'll think about it, or um, we need more information. Right? You know, what my kids didn't want to think out of it, they go, Oh, we'll think about it. <laughs> right? And they were thinking, they've been thinking for 25, 30 years. <laughs> still thinking. They're still thinking. <laughs> but they won't tell me about So I think the city agencies. Must have had contact with the kids. <laughs> must have told them this. All right, so if there are any pictures you want to take, go for it. I can easily take pictures of the uh, Frederick Douglass playground. Oh, nice. That's, yeah, that's like right near me. Sorry for that. And I think they're working. I, I feel like it, I can't remember time anymore, but I think a few months ago at Parks, um, it's yeah, Parks presented um, a plan or maybe it was information gathering session, something like that, right. about what to do um, for the park, but I don't think anything's actually happened. Okay. <clears throat> but I'll check. And I know because when I did, I, my grandma is still working on the parts of it that finished. So like yeah, saw scaffolding or one Yeah, can take a picture. And, and then I think the committee should decide what what pictures go in, not what we're gonna have them put into it. I feel like I've been you know driving the crop and I think it's a question. And I don't mind that we have my private side. You know, the big board. More of a document. And I'll send that with public doctor actually. So. And then in terms of just governance process within the board. So we vote on this at okay. the full board. Right. And as long as the committee is happy with the district meetings and stuff and at some point we consult with um, Max and Beverly and then by press and oh does that that document does not need to go before the board. Oh there's not enough time for the whole board to debate that document. It never it has. Off. It okay. never has. Oh well that's easy peasy. Yeah, it's or... only on the top three priorities. Okay, wow. Well, we used to do worse training. Well, I remember that. Yeah. And that we'd have like gosh, we'd sit around six hour table. long meetings. Yeah. And it would be two or three hours. And the lawyers usually 
one for their item, even though their item was not the most because they were better to put it yeah, the, the, the lawyers that live in the not to disparage other attorneys or their advocates. They were yes, and the when I became chair, I just did not think that that was the best way to do it. So we actually got a playground in the board of the district that was in terrible disrepair as our number one priority. that's. After a while, I had a target on my head. Uh, should we discuss the top three priorities and, and vote on these? We just did. Should we vote? We just voted. That was the vote on that, not the oh. The top three. That was the vote on the top three. Yeah. I thought that was the vote on the agenda, even though the vote would be the same. No, we so, voted on the agenda. Okay. But, but, but then we actually had a raised hand vote on this. Great. So then we're all set. Great. There's nothing else that any board member could possibly come up with that would change those priorities, right? No, so well, to play devil's advocate. We, we looked at so if <clears throat> some we looked at how other boards do it. Mm -hmm. So some boards let the community vote. The community vote. Yeah. Like a public vote somehow. Right. Oh wow. Which means whoever wants to vote votes, which means it's not like an election. Right. So, for example, when Gail did her, um, her, her um, the vote for you know, what, what you're talking about, you know, where you want money to go. Predicted our budget. Yeah. Yeah. One year it was something for LaGuardia. So all the LaGuardia students went across the street to the library and voted. So that one. So that's what happens. So so anyway, we kind of look. So that's that basically what happens. So, you know, if you want um, a majority of people are want something that doesn't that doesn't mean that it was a majority of the community it was a majority of people who voted. Right. Many boards do what we do, which is to look to be data driven. Okay. And so we've always done ours data driven. And um that, that's how we arrived. These have been our priorities for about since probably you, you've been on the board. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, so if you look at the data, we have 25 to 30% of the population are food insecure. We have 25, 25 to 33% are, are um, spending too much of their income on housing based on what percentage. And the public education is not equal in this country. So, you know, if you just look at the data, it was, would be the highest priorities. Because otherwise you get into, it's more emotional, it's more, you yeah. know, I want more parking because I have a car and I can't afford to pay for the garage or, you know, I, I want this playground because And the board's going with it. And, and the board actually agreed a couple of years ago, we decided not to do worse training, but that was my number. Okay. okay. Anything else we need to discuss uh, on the record for tonight? No. Any objections to your hearing? No. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you. We still see oh, yeah. frozen over there. We're yeah, we're good on the computer on the computer, but on the screen for some reason. Hmm. I'm still here. Oh yeah, I think I saw that. Can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. Oh yes, yeah. so I, I saw in the background that it seemed to be frozen, but I'm I'm still here. Nice to see you. Okay, dude, thank you. Is everyone heading out? Yes. Sorry, I'm it's freezing up a little bit. Is there a way to turn it off? <laughs>